Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. This news in the streets. Join us, sentiment for the tea. Breaking news with integrity. So, sir, your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe. Hey tea sippers, hope you guys are doing good today. So once again, Club Shay Shay, like I've been saying from day one, is the gift that keeps on giving. So what's going down is this. Um, as you guys know, Cat Williams went on Club Shay Shay almost, I think almost a month ago. And basically a few days after that, Mike Epps was on um, stage and he was basically saying how he wished that, you know, Cat would have mentioned his name and Cat was wearing fake Fendi and all this other stuff. Basically, he was trying to involve himself in the Cat Williams Club Shay Shay, you know, virality. So y'all go ahead and check out this video right here. The Cat Williams did fuck the game up. <laughs> Did y'all see that nigga running? That nigga was running like... That nigga said he ran a faux show. No shirt on, nigga's hair was flying back. I was insulted that the nigga didn't insult me. I said, nigga, I need some fucking press too, nigga. Shit. I started to send the nigga some shit about me. This some shit you didn't know right here, nigga. The nigga told the truth, though. Oh, he was tearing them niggas' asses up. That nigga said everything I wanted to say. All right, so you guys just saw that video. And like I said, that was a few weeks ago. So now Mike Epps was back on stage a few days ago and now this video is going viral where he's basically wearing a leather outfit and he's going in on Shannon Sharp and saying, you know, what kind of name is Shay Shay? He's kind of insinuating that Shannon Sharp is gay. Um, when he sees him, he sees Medea. But most importantly, he claims that Shannon Sharp reached out to him to come and sit down and do an interview and that he declined. Now, when I first heard this, I called Kat. I don't believe that Shannon Sharp would have hit him up for an interview because nobody's really checking for Mike Epps right now like that. But y'all go ahead and check out this video. That nigga Shannon Sharp called me trying to do an interview. I said, no, Medea, I ain't doing no interview. So you can sit across from me and look at my balls. I'm sitting down, nigga. I thought he was going to attack Kat, that nigga there. <laughs> nigga shit is called Shay Shay. The nigga's telling you. Put a wig on that nigga. Tell me if that ain't motherfucking Medea's sister, nigga. They exposing every motherfucking body. They got TD Jakes fucked up. Now that's fucked up. All that money that nigga didn't got from God, and they came out on him. All right, so you guys just saw that video. So now, yesterday, Unk done went on his favorite, you know, podcast show, honey, Nightcap with Ocho Cinco's Good Instigate Nas. And so basically, Shannon Sharp was calling out Mike Epps without saying his name and basically telling Mike Epps to leave him alone, keep his name out of his mouth because he wants all the smoke. And you see, you know, Chad right there instigating right along and, you know, having Shannon Sharp's back, just a straight up mess. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I'm gonna put this out there. Uh -huh. And this one, I, I'm gonna fire this shot over your head, mofo. And you will know exactly who I'm talking about. Yeah. Mention my, na mention my name again. Yeah. And I'm gonna put the DMs. I'm gonna put, I'm, and I don't like doing this. Yeah. But you're lying. See, and yeah. I don't care about all that other stuff. You can say I'm gay and you can say I'm, I don't care about that because yeah. I won't chase a lie, but yeah. I won't let you lie on my name. Yeah. Now you can say all that other stuff. I can deal with that. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Look, I heard that a thousand times. Yes, Just sir. like everybody jumping in the chat talking about, oh, you don't like number white women. Right. I done dated a lot of different races. Yeah. Hey, listen, you like Skittles now. You eat every color. Come on. Talk to me now. No, I don't eat. On. I don't eat. Now I don't eat or suck. You they know, all you, do you, all that. You, you know what I mean? That's why I said I Skittles. Skittles. Okay, okay. Stay. I'm, I'm with you. 
You know, I, I look at Ocho. Yeah, yeah, but yeah, I'm telling, yeah. I'm, te I'm telling you this, and I want you, to, and I want somebody to send it to you. And y'all been, I've been seeing it in the chat. Y'all yeah. know who I'm talking about. I don't know who you talking about, say, but I'm with you. I'm a, nigga. Say I'm, my name what? again, and I'm gonna put the, I'm a, and I'm gonna release the DMs because yeah. you're lying. Yeah. You said I reached out to you to come on Club Shay Shay, and you a mofo lie. Now when I, I see you, yeah. I'm gonna see you. I'm gonna see if you about that. Okay. I'm gonna see if you want to say what you've been saying on yeah. trying to get some jokes because yeah. you got mad because Cat Williams did what he did. Now, yeah. now when I see you, yeah. I'm gonna see if you really about that. Yeah, and when I when I when I see you, nah, no, 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 no. I'm gonna no. see if him talking all that. Yeah. When he wore them tight ass leather pants, trying yeah. to be funny. Yeah. But I'm gonna see if you about that. Yeah. Say my name again. Say, now be a hey, be like yeah. Destiny's Child and talk about say my name, say my name. And I got yeah. something for your ass. Okay, I'm lost. I'm lost, but I'm with you. And whoever whoever you talking about it, we go, we go. What? Yeah, yeah. I'm with like you. I said, yeah. all that. All for first of all, them saying I'm gay and this and that. It ain't affecting my bottom line. I'm, I'm gay. I've been happy for for years. It don't. It ain't affecting my bottom line. Now, if it'll start to affect my bottom line, right. then I'm gonna see. I'm gonna make y'all put. I'm gonna put you. Make you put your cards on the table. Yeah. It ain't gonna That's be no flush either. Do. You ain't gonna, you ain't I'm gonna make you put no your flesh. cards on the table, but that don't bother me. Is that you lied, and you didn't have to say your little joke, get your little laugh off, have fun, but just don't lie and said I said something right. when I didn't, and you know who you are, mofo. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm calling you a mofo now. Yeah. When I see you, boy, I promise you, I'm gonna pull up. Yeah, yeah, I'm gonna we, pull up, and yeah. I'm gonna see if you bought that. Cause I'm I'm about it with you. Me too. As soon as now, I get on probation, y'all know I don't like. I said I stay to myself, Ocho. Anybody yeah. tell you I got yeah. out? Of, I got. I'm not, and I never. And I said it. I said when people say, "Man, that's not like Shannon." That's exactly who Shannon was. Mm -hmm. I let my guard down. Right. I'm gonna see you. Yeah, I don't know what we talk about. I'm gonna see you too. Let me take my glasses. I'm off. gonna see you. We both gonna see you. Yeah, mofo. Fuck. Now, if you really want me, send for me. Ooh. I'll come. Yeah. Now, I'm, when I'm coming out, look here. I got special handling. I come with yeah. shipping and handling because yeah. I'm going to make sure you get it. Yeah. Make sure you put your address, nigga. Shit, we'll be there. No, nah, just, hey. And don't come. Hey, man, you know. No, no, because I, I, I'm going to tell you what somebody told me one time. What is joke to you is death to somebody else. Don't lie on my name. Say what you want to say about me. I wear all. I wear all that. But don't lie on me. Yeah. Hey. All I want to know is how you want to do it, bro. Slide your number. I get with you. Yeah, we we'll get. Slide with your you, number. Bro. I get with you. How you want to do We ain't got to go. We ain't got. We ain't got to go no back and forth. We ain't got to yeah. do this. All you got to do, slide your number, and I get with you. Yeah. <laughs> Think we won't pull up. All right, y'all just saw that video. Y'all saw how you know Shannon Sharp was dead serious. He definitely felt the way, and all you saw was Ocho Cinco playing and instigating. That is definitely some nasty work right there. So now this has gotten back to Mike Epps. And now Mike Epps has something to say to Shannon Sharp, and it's kind of ugly. So y'all go ahead and check this out. Now, wait a minute, wait a minute. Now, I know Shay Shay. I don't know what grown ass man got a name that Shay Shay, but I know this grown man is not mad at me. So many people talk crazy about you. They was on Saturday Night Live talking about you, imitating you, but now you want to fight me? Now, I'm not going to lie. I did DM you to get on the show. But I DM'd you to get on the show because you brought my name up when you were sitting there with Cat, and he was trying to get him to talk crazy about me, but he didn't, okay? Now, second of all, talking about pulling up on me, you're going to be an all-star, I'm going to be at the all-star in my hometown, and I'm going to see you, all right? I'm going to see you, brother. And I'm just letting you know, I don't be doing no fighting lately. I don't do no fighting. So, you know, there's only other one other option. If you don't fight, you do blank. Blank, 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 blank. And Ocho, you shut up and go get some eyebrows. You looking like a whole milk dud sitting there agitating. We watched the white boy kick your ass 
on TV. So you shut up. And Shay Shay, you did look like Medea sitting there. You was looking zesty. I'm not saying you gay, but you was looking zesty. You look like Big Frida sitting there. You need to take them tight ass shirts off with the muscles. And that's it. <laughs> Go check out my special February the 20th on Netflix. February 20th on Netflix is called I'm Ready to Sell Out. Because being a real dude ain't making no money right now. All right, so y'all just heard what Mike Epps had to say. Now, first and foremost, okay, Mike Epps says, Shay Shay, pull up. You gonna be in my city. Mike Epps is from Indianapolis. I think he's definitely feeling himself. Like, why would you go from him pulling up? You know, why not catch a fair one? He wants to take it to the pow pow. And the reason why I feel like Mike Epps, and I think the reason why Mike Epps would rather, you know what I'm saying, just pow pow at Shannon, cause he knows Shannon will whoop his ass. Shannon looks good, his body's on point for being 50 plus, okay? He knows that Shannon will whoop his ass. He knows that that's not even a fight that he wants. So he'd rather just, you know what I'm saying, play with the pow pow. Now let's also not forget why we know that he can definitely whoop Mike Epps' his ass, um, you know, Uncle Shay Shay also needs to be careful because, you know, Mike Epps be running with the GDs out there. There ain't nothing but GDs in the damn Midwest. And, you know, if that's his home turf, they definitely going to be riding for him. But hopefully it doesn't get to that level. It should never be that serious where we're willing to pull out guns on each other. Over what, though? This is all coming from a damn viral interview. Like, I can't believe that it's literally a month later and we're still on this Cat Williams thing. Like I said, we are in the age of Aquarius. This is the gift that keeps on giving. But I don't know if y'all peeped something that stood out to me at the very end of what Mike Epps says. At the end of his video, he promotes his Netflix special called I'm Ready to Sell Out. And he says, being a real dude, don't pay no money. And I believe that's why he's starting this beef. Because he knows, like I've been telling y'all, the industry is running dry. And all the folks who have tried to have integrity and just, you know, follow the rules and try to do right, they don't be receiving the blessings that they should be getting blessed with, unfortunately. But that's what you have to decide, is the money worth it? I mean, look how much Krishan is making on Snapchat and on all these shows and how, and how ratchet she acts. Look how popular the baddies are. But then you have girls like Coco Jones who will never have that same level of notoriety like a Krishan Rock. And I think that's what's bothering Mike Epps. You know, Mike Epps, you know, he just does his comedy thing, kind of keeps to himself, you know, but he's not, just like with Cat Williams, just like with Monique. They've all tried to walk in more or less, you know, some sort of integrity, right? But they have not seen the success like a Kevin Hart, who has had to step on a few people, you know, and others in the comedy world. And I think a lot of people are tired. And now they're trying to find other ways to keep their names out there in the conversations, doing all these weird antics. You know, it's going to be interesting to see if anything goes down. Hopefully nothing goes down. Hopefully they can just be gentlemen and talk about whatever beef that they got going on. But again, in the words of Monique, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. See, when you do clownery, the clown comes back to bite. I know that's right, Monique. She's been dropping gems since the 99s and the 2000s. So with that being said, I look forward to reading y'all's comments down below. Let me know your thoughts on this entire situation with Mike Epps. I'm basically now getting into it with Shannon Sharp. How do y'all feel about that? Make sure you guys hit this video with a like. Feel free to share the video. Most importantly, make sure you're still subscribed to the channel and I'll talk to y'all later. Deuces. If you want the latest news in the streets, join us and tune in for the tea. Breaking news with integrity, so sell your friends and your family. It's the lovely TV show. Bringing you good tea and good vibes. It's the lovely TV show. Be sure to share, like, and subscribe.